In the spirit of adding new things to the game, I feel like we're overdue a cursed chest or two, with the last one being added way back in Cruise of Rage in February 2020. And no, I'm not going to count the chest of everlasting sorrow, that's more of a lore item. And a quick disclaimer as well before we do start, some of these chests are designed to be really annoying, so take that into account before you comment. Starting with an upgraded version of the chest of a thousand grogs, we've got the chest of bottomless grog. As all cursed chests seem to be replicas of the original cursed chests by the ancients, maybe not the chest of rage, it's appropriate that we have an ancient strength version of Ramsey's wish.com versions. And when thinking about this one, I thought, how can we make this even more annoying than the chest of a thousand grog? How about we make it affect everyone on the ship, instead of just the person holding it? When the chest of bottomless grog is on the ship, the whole crew is rendered inebriated, causing all crew to stumble, vomit, and play shanties really badly, as if my crew didn't need encouragement to annoy me even more. The current cursed chests in the game deserve a more expensive but equally annoying upgrade. If you can tolerate this chest and get it to an outpost, you will be rewarded with a handsome 50,000 gold even before your gold hoarder or reaper emissary bonus. Personally, I think this should be a rare dig or riddle chest with a chance to spawn in the Fort of the Damned or Fort of Fortune too. The chest is designed to be usable against your foes too, if you manage to sneak aboard with it while swaying like the drunken sailor you are, causing your enemies to get absolutely pissed, scrambling to find the hidden chest as you annihilate them. Either way, I think it would bring out some hilarious moments and reward you nicely while having to put up with it. Whether the Chest of Rage was made by the Ancients or Flameheart doesn't matter, this version is to cause more mayhem than its diet counterpart. The Chest of Unending Rage has a slightly different effect. Instead of periodically setting the ship on fire, it is always on fire and will set the carrier on fire when picked up. The fire will not spread to the ship, however. This chest will be keen to heat up when angry, instead shooting out a blunder bomb effect, causing damage and knockback to anyone unfortunate enough to be around. The blunder bombs will fly off in random directions, so best not to store it in the way of anything. Again, another great PvE or PvP tool. This can be used for the skeletal or fleshy foes alike. For dealing with this monstrosity, you'll be rewarded a nice 30k, where it can spawn at Ashen Winds, Fort of Fortune, or at a dig spot. The Chest of Mischief is a brand new chest that plays tricks on you when on the ship. How does it do it? Well, at a random interval, it will apply a cursed cannibal effect on your ship. This can cause your sails to be pulled up, down, the anchor to be pulled up or down, the wheel to be locked, essentially all purple cannibal effects apart from the ballast ball can be inflicted when using this chest. How do you predict it? Well, like the chest of sorrow, you don't. It can be one minute between effects or it can be as long as 30 minutes. How can you cause it to activate less frequently? As the chest is random, it will accept random consumables that can be fed to it. This will satiate the chest's hunger, causing it to hold off from causing mischief for a short time. This will net you a neat 50k if you manage to sell it, and is actually accepted by the Order of Souls instead, as they long to extract the spirits from inside. Find it in forts, skeleton fleets, or ghost fleets. Just like the Dark Adventurous stuff was pirate legend gear designed by legendary reapers, this chest is an Athena chest that the reapers have got their hands on it and marked with the reapers mark. The chest acts like a reapers chest, but produces a beacon in the sky even when on the ship, like the sea dog's chest, but much less buggy. The idea of the chest is to entice Athena emissaries into fighting for it, as it can only be sold to Athena's fortune or the reapers bones. To encourage even more combat, it makes the ship carrying it 10% slower, as it frowns upon the frail that fear the call of battle. To further encourage you to wage war, it acts as an ammo chest that can be filled up like normal ammo crates. Heeding the call of battle will grant you 60,000 gold, a large amount of rep and progress towards a new accommodation for Athena's fortune or Reaper's bones that unlocks the ability to buy the white recolor of the ghost set or a black and green recolor of the dark adventurous set for each company respectively. Simply put, the chest of innumerable mass is filled with curse gold that, when placed on a ship, Will cause it to sit lower in the water, like a recurring ballast ball effect. This chest would make you incredibly vulnerable to attack, as any shots would cause the ship to be into flood, even when the hull would usually be above the waterline. On the other hand, if you can stealthily place it on someone else's ship, then they would be a really easy target. Just be wary of any threat on the Sea of Thieves when using this chest, as AI or players will make short work of you. You'll get a handsome 50k for handing in this one in though. This chest is only as cursed as the player makes it. Well, sort of. 
The chest of treachery will be booby trapped when opening it for the first time and acts like a treasure chest. When opening the chest initially, a random effect will be placed on the player, which could be anything from poison to causing an explosion, but that's the risk you take. You can open the chest initially, just hoping you don't get hit with a mega keg. You can always leave it on your ship to surprise your enemy should they get one over on you and steal your loot. The chest itself doesn't go for much, but has three high value items in them, such as a magma's grail, stronghold skull, or breath of the sea. They can be found in the same way as regular treasure chests, but much less common. These chests are always found in a pair, which can randomly cause you to take a nap or start dancing, as if you were hit with a wary ball or jig ball. Again, these chests will be a great hindrance on your ship, similar to the chest of mischief, but just with these two effects. These don't affect the whole ship, however, just an area of effect like the chest of rage. The main threat from these cursed chests isn't when you're minding your own business, when sailing from A to B. It's when the shit hits the fan and everyone is running around in combat that you forget the chests are there. You will inevitably get too close when one goes off. These chests can be used on skeletons and skeleton lords too, granting you a boon in combat at the forts. If you manage to find them, they'll be in a pair and always sell for 30k each, and can be sold to the gold hoarders or reapers. These can spawn in any fort world event or any skeleton fleet, or can be part of a mysterious note quest. Many of you will know the chest as the infamous chest that helped bring the Silver Blade to its watery grave and Flameheart Jr. into the service of the captain. Now that the sirens are back, maybe it's time to bring back this chest, as the Kraken is drawn to it. In the Tales from the Sea of Thieves book, the chest is recovered by Ninecat, Nura, and Diving Bell, causing them to be attacked by the Kraken and the chest to be never seen again. Instead of randomly happening upon this chest, it becomes a world event that causes it to spawn on the map, but instead, Players are given a locket that points the way to the chest, after an ominous echo is heard across the map. Once dug up, it will be marked on the map, but the first crew to set sail out to open water will be attacked by the Kraken, a more powerful version with more health, causing its head to rise out of the water like in the Sunken Pearl. The chest has drawn the Kraken in, and it's up to the players to defeat it. Once the Kraken is defeated, it will spawn loot in the water, causing a mad scramble to get the loot onto your ship before players try and swipe it off you. The chest can be sold to any company, including Athena's fortune, granting a large amount of rep and 75,000 gold before an emissary bonus. Something like this would be an insane event that all players can participate in, and creates a mad rush to dig up the chest, then chaos as the Kraken attacks. I don't know about you guys, but this is my favourite idea on the list if I'm being big headed. I'd really love to see this added. That's all for this video. The Obsidian Six Pack giveaway is on this video in the top right hand corner if you missed it. If you like this video and want more, please consider subscribing and dropping a like. It really helps me out a lot and means you get to keep up with some great content. Sorry, below average content. Anyway, thanks again for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.